everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is actually a super special day because it is the one year anniversary of me being on YouTube, which is super exciting. Um, that last year, uh, this day, I posted my very first video, which happened to be, I believe, a sketchbook tour. If you haven't checked out that video, I highly suggest it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. It's been quite the year. Um, yeah, we don't even need to get into how it's been quite the year. We've done that before. Um, so yeah, so today I just wanted to take you along with me as I just did a pretty relaxing doodle session. Um, nothing super special, just trying to get back into doodling. And if you watched my last video where I talked about my art goals for 2021, you will know that I am trying to do at least 15 minutes of art every single day. Um, that's turning into more like about an hour at least if I sit down with my tablet. Um, so this I did about a week ago, but since then I've pretty much been able to get on for about an hour every day onto my tablet and work on a video that you will see next week. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, it's just been, it's been good and I like to, you know, put on a YouTube video or a movie while I'm doing that. Um, so while I was doing these drawings, I was actually listening to a one hour in my sketchbook with Minnie Smalls. If you've never checked out her channel, I highly suggest her channel. It's very relaxing, very inspiring. She is doing gouache and just does all sorts of cool stuff and she's got a pretty cute um, cat as well. Yeah, so I was just drawing some mushrooms. In case you didn't know, I really like mushrooms. I just think they're just so fun and colorful. There's so many different varieties. You can kind of make up mushrooms and they kind of look like mushrooms. So these aren't even real mushrooms for any real intensive purposes. I made them up. But I really like drawing mushrooms and as you probably have known from my last video, uh, I am currently working on building a nursery and that theme is actually based on mushrooms and woodlands and gnomes and things. So this is all very fresh on my mind. So it's not something super new, but yeah, it's just kind of relaxing just sitting and drawing. And yeah, and the thing I like about working digitally on my tablet is that I can do it from anywhere. So this was done on the couch while my husband was teaching music lessons upstairs. And I have a dog cuddling me, which is super great. It's just nice. Um, for those wondering, the um, technology I'm using here is the Microsoft Surface Pro. It's actually my full-time laptop as well as my tablet. And so I'm just using that with the pen it comes with and I have a little glove that I wear so that my hand doesn't stick to the screen. I have a paper-like screen protector on it to make it feel a little bit more like paper. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on those. Some people really like them, some people don't. I really like it. Um, but yeah, also please don't judge me for this very strange frog. I think I'm gonna zoom in on him a couple times because what even is that frog? But yeah. What, what is he? He's, he's just struggling. But, <laughs> um, and then the program I'm using is Clip Studio Paint, which is a lot like Photoshop. It can do pretty much everything that Photoshop can do, at least painting-wise and animation-wise. Um, but it's a lot cheaper. Uh, this program, I think I paid a one-time fee of like $50, and I get full access to be able to work on it and save as many files as I want and it's really great, it's really nice. I've been using it for months now. I love it. Whereas Photoshop, you can't really get that for just $50. Um, yeah. Um, if you're wondering, I did just draw a bean and that is mostly because up until we knew that our baby was going to be a boy or really what any what any of it was going to be um, we call we called him Bean I still kind of call him Bean it's just a fun little nickname I gave him because he's like hey you little Bean so I was just drawing this little like 
funny thing with like a little sprout on it. I don't know. It made me happy. And then this next drawing, I actually take a lot further than the other ones. I just decided to draw a little mushroom girl, which I love drawing. Um, just basically a normal girl, kind of, but with a mushroom head. So it's like almost like a hat, but it's actually part of her head, whether you can tell that or not. It is part of her head. She is part mushroom. I think it's pretty cool. I think she turns out really cute. Um, but I really liked her, so I decided to actually add some color. And for all of these sketches, I was using the real pencil um, tool on Clip Studio Paint. And then when I go into coloring, I actually use a gouache paintbrush. And I really like using the gouache in Clip Studio Paint. I think it reacts pretty similarly to how real paint reacts to itself. It mixes in really well. I can just kind of use um, the pressure of my brush to make changes in how opaque my mixing is or how opaque the color is and I can use the same color that I'm working with to mix in with other colors. Um, so yeah, I just think it's really nice, really nice program, highly suggest it. So if you're looking for a digital painting program that's not Adobe, and is it going to cost you an actual fortune that you can just work with on the go or at your desktop? I highly suggest you look into Clip Studio Paint because it's just fantastic. I've, I've not had any issues with it yet, so, and I've been using it for most of this past year. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of things to talk about. I know I asked my Instagram followers if they would rather have this just be with music or if they wanted it with a voiceover and all of them really wanted a voiceover. I shouldn't say all of them. The majority was a voiceover. Um, so yeah, we're about halfway through this video though. So I think I will just let it play out and you can just enjoy the relaxingness of watching me sketch. Oh, also I drew some ghosties because who doesn't love a good little ghost friend? Um, and I don't know if you could pick it, if my headphones picked it up or not, but my dog did just like yawn and make some very sad sounds. Um, she is sitting next to me being very cute and I am not paying enough attention to her. So she is very sad, <laughs> but she'll be fine. I will give her lots of attention soon. But anyway, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, let me know if you like this format of video, if you want to see something different. Um, next week I will be giving you a full um, digital painting piece. It started off as a doodle and ended up being a full digital painting. I'm really happy with how it came out, so I'm really excited to get that out for you next week. Um, but thanks for a great year. Oh, pro tip, don't forget to save. I almost always forget to save my work until it's almost too late. So that was me saving. Um, but yeah, it was just good to hang out and talk. And if you have any questions or anything you want to say, just like leave that in the comments. I'll try to get back to as many of you as I can. And just thanks for a great year on YouTube. Um, here's just some more. Yeah. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.